Hey guys, what's up? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to add texture packs for Minecraft Pocket Edition on Apple devices. You can do this without a jailbreak, and so you can do it on your 4S, or if you just don't want a jailbreak. I want to show you guys I'm at 497 subscribers. I'm kind of excited, almost at 500. So I don't know, it's kind of a big deal for me. It's only 500, but still, it's a lot for just what I do. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need is a program called iExplorer. Just search it on Google, and it will be the first one that comes up. Just click on that. And then download it. There's PC and Mac version, so no matter what you're on, you got it good. Download, and then... Once you're done downloading, you should see... <laughs> icon on your desktop called iExplorer. Sorry, that was my alarm clock. You'll see an icon on your desktop called Explorer. Just double click on that. Open it up. Waiting. Waiting. Alright, and the first thing you're going to see is an appeal from the developer. He's asking you to help spread the word about the program. Say so, you no, know, just share it on Facebook, Twitter, or Google Plus. You can know, you can do whatever you want. And once you do that, just close it. Now you'll see your iPhone name, and you see a list of all your apps. And you're gonna scroll down, and you're gonna find com.mojang.minecraft.pe. You're just gonna double click on that. And if you see this iOS device has been reached the limit of connecting to five app directories, all you gotta do is re disconnect and reconnect to your iPhone or iPod Touch. Now, what happens to me is iTunes decides it'll be funny to open up during the video, so what are you gonna do? It makes it kinda slow here. So, yeah, all you gotta do is disconnect, reconnect, and then just go back and find com.mojang.minecraftbe. Double click on it. And then, once you're inside the app, you're going to see a little file called Minecraft PE App. You're going to open up that folder. And you're going to see a long list of files. Don't get intimidated, because it's just... It's, you, all you need to find is one file, terrain.png. That's basically the texture of the entire game. Gotta close out of iTunes. <sighs> Alright, terrain.png. You'll see something that looks like this. This is a terrain uh, texture pack I already put in, so it looks a little different than yours will look. Now what you're going to need to do is open up your texture pack that you want to insert into the game. And once you open the folder, you'll see a little picture with terrain underneath it. Now it's a file. It's a PNG file. You're just going to click on that, drag it to iExplorer, and then drop it right onto the Minecraft PE app folder. It'll ask you if you want to delete your terrain.png. If you want to, just hit OK. If you don't care about going back to the original Minecraft uh, texture, you can just delete it. But if you want to be able to revert back to the original, just change the terrain.png file name to terrain1.png and then drag your new texture pack over. Once you do that, you're set. All right, that's all you had to do. Now comment, re subscribe. I'll show you a little demo of texture pack I put on my iPhone 4S to prove to you you don't need to jailbreak your iPhone to do this. I use the Adventure Time texture pack because Adventure Time is the best TV show ever. And yeah, comment, rate, subscribe. Almost at 500. Maybe I'll send you guys a nice little video at 500 subscribers. But thanks for all your support and thanks for watching. Hey guys, 
I'm just showing you the demo of the texture pack on my new on my Minecraft Pocket Edition on my iPhone 4S. Sorry for the crappy quality. I'm recording this with my iPod Touch. So yeah, previous 4S. You know, I got Siri. And yeah. 